Hello and welcome to Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits Reviews. Um, change of setting in the kitchen tonight, it's too cold in the shed. This is from the Robin Hood Beers, uh, Robin Hood Beer Festival. So I've already done um, the ciders, I've already done what was in bar A and B. We're now moving on to bar C and uh, I'm using a laptop so bear with me. So here's the beers. Anything interesting, I'll flag up as I'm as I'm reading them. So from Burton Town Brewery, Kolsch 4.5%. This is Kolsch Lager beer, uh, similar to most tr traditional German ales. Uh, Mod Wiener 4.8%. A rich, nourishing stout with, in, with oat and hint of chocolate. By the Horns, uh, Hopadelic 4.3%. Um, light straw body filled with juicy US ops. Another, this is the other one, Lambeth Walk, 5.1%. It's a porter, dark, rich chocolate, coffee and hazel notes. From the camper van, um, web, camper van brewery in Edinburgh. Uh, on reserve, they've got leaf juice. It's a session IPA, 4.7%, vegan. Uh, they've also got happy botanist, 3.8%, rhubarb crumble and custard pale ale. Now that sounds interesting. And they've also got a wee tail at 5% to be confirmed. Um, Canopy Brewery, they've got Hoots and Shoots Slow Porter. So perfect for autumn, it's a 5% beer. The slows add a sweetness to this beer, that does sound interesting. Three Sheets Scotch Ale, 7.5%. Um, a wee heavy style Scotch ale, warming and amber. That does sound good. So we'll keep going down. From the Castor Brewery, we've got Hopping Toad at 4.1%. Refreshing bitter with a flowery and spicy citrus flavour. Also, Old Scarlet 4.3%. Scarlet coloured beer balanced with New World hops. Also, Roman Mosaic, 4.2%, a rich grain, Bill Harp additions give fruity characteristics. From the Cat Asylum Brewery in Collingham in Nottinghamshire, I've never heard of it. Um, DBS, Bretted Stout, 8% vegan beer, dry complex, hoppy, 1851, Scottish recipe, Brettanomyces yeast, never heard of that one. And Framboos Raspberry Saison, 6.7% vegan also. Saison with local raspberries, fresh fruit nose, mm, very interesting. Newark IPA, 6.1%, that's where I know it from. Newark Recipe from 19 and 10, Balanced Pre-War IPA. Scroll down a bit more. From the Chapeau Brewery, Hard Yard, 4.6%, Best Bitter, Ruler. 4% Amber Ale. From the Chapter Brewery, Bread and Circuses, 3.8% of American Pale Ale. Paravola, 4.7%. Punchy Fragrant APA with a huge Columbus Burst. On Reserve, Temos Tanta, 4.4%. A Pale Ale, Marmalade Notes from Orange Peel and Fruity Hops. From the Cheviot Brewery, Harbour Wall, 4.3%. Refreshingly zesty, easy drinking light pale. Black Hag, 4.4%. Smooth Malty Easy Drinking Stout. The Shill, 6%. Traditional Coffee but Copper Bitter with Floral Aroma. From the Chin Chin Brewery, Poolside, 5%. Uh, strong Hoppy Pale Ale. Simcoe City, 5.5%. American Style Pale Ale. From the Church End Brewery, well, wow, they've got quite a few. <clears throat> On reserve, Boston Fat Boy, 4.4%. Hoppy beer using lager style hops. Brewers Chew, 3.6%. A golden ale with mango and vanilla aroma. Double Scotch at 4.2%. Spicy beer with Scotch bonnet chilies and Scotch whiskey. That does sound interesting. Goat's Milk at 3.8%. Golden Yellow Nectar, Champion Beer of Britain, 2017. Uh, on reserve, Grave Diggers at 3.8%. Dark Black, Complex mixture of chocolate and roast flavours. Um, next one, Limoncello, 5%. Pale and tangy with fresh lemon and the Italian liqueur. Very interesting. Mango number five at 3.8%. Get where, you can get where they got that from. Uh, sweet black mango infused ale. Very interesting. Rhubarb and custard, 4.4%. Pink in colour with rhubarb and vanilla. That's what I want to taste. Vanilla Gym, 3.8%. 
uh, a mild laced with vanilla and Jim Beam. Some very interesting beers from that brewery. Definitely one to watch. And that's Church End Brewery. So, Church Hand Brewery. Uh, Blue Net, 5.5%. Uh, honey and Oatmeal, Honey Porter. Teardrop Citra, 4.2%. Uh, single Hop Citra. On Reserve, Zebron, 5.5%. Dark wheat beer, notes of vanilla, clove and banana. That sounds interesting. Clarkshaws, a bunny up, 3.9%. Uh, vegan, light and hoppy, extra pale ale. Uh, they've also got a mild at 3.5% on vegan. Gentle hopping and the clean finish. From the Claval and Hind Brewery, we have Blunderbuss, 4.2% pale ale. Coachman, 3.8% golden ale. Uh, Colchester Brewery, yeah, Brazilian. 4.6% a coffee and vanilla porter. Jack Spitty's Smuggler's Ale, 4% gold nail. On reserve, Sweeney Tard, uh, that's bitter. From the Cold Black Label Brewery, we have Chirk Castle, a golden beer, 4.6%. From Cossette Ale Works, we have Steelworkers Blonde, 4%. Uh, that's a well rounded blonde ale. From the Coppel Hill Brewery, two beers, but nothing actually says on there. Uh, Corinium Brewery, Ale Caesar the Third, five percent, a fruity India Pale Ale, Fiber four percent, a uh, deep multi amber ale, Platus four and a half percent, a fruity pale ale with Jester hops. From the Cosmic Brewery, uh, five dollar shake, six point six percent, and this is a sweet milk stout, subtle roasted flavour. Book APA. Pale Ale with Mosaic and Simcoe Hops, 4%. Plead the Fifth, 5.4%. That's a California Steam Beer. First one of them on the uh, at the beer festival. Crackle Rock Brewery. Cracker Jack, 3.8%. Pale Ale. Krakatoa, 6.2%. Pale Ale with the best characteristics of an IPA. Dark Destroyer, 4.9%. Rich, strong, dark, smooth porter. From the Crafty Monkey Brewery, Money Penny EPA and Pale Ale. And you've got New ERA, that was 4%. New ERA, 4.3%. Rich and Malty with Caramel Aftertaste. Ruby, 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 4.5%. It's a well rounded English Ops and Burnt Caramel. From the Crankshaft Brewery, uh, Lev 1, it says, 4.8%. Pale Ale hopped with a fruity citrus mouthfeel. From Creighton Grange Brewery, Four Suns, 3.5%, a traditional bitter with light roasted notes. March Yard, 4.2%, Pale Ale. On Reserve, a Pheasant Tail, 3.8%, Liver Golden Ale. From Croft Ales, Back Jump, 4.5%, Pale Ale. BS2, 4%, Session IPA. Deep Red, 5.5%, um, basically a red ale. From Cromarty Brewery, AKA IPA, 6.7%, quite strong. Uh, American APA, amazing ups. On reserve, brewed awakening at 4.7%. A coffee stout with an Ara Arabica coffee beans. Goldilocks at 4.2%. Pale gold fruit and malty. Red Rocker at 5%. A red rye based beer. From the Crooked Brewery, on Tutway, 5%. Uh, Northern Brewer. Bitterness and citrusy Amarillo hop flavour. The Lash, 4.4%. Oppie Pale Ale with juicy citrus, citra and Nelson Suavin hops. From the Colour Coats Brewery, Portland Coffee Porter, 4.1%. Um, Black Midden Roast Coffee flavours. Wild North Blonde, 3.8%. Blonde brewed with Northumbrian hops. From the Darkland Brewery, never heard of half of these breweries. It's amazing how many breweries there are in the country. From the Darkland Brewery, a Farla at 3.3%. It's an amber ale. Pale Green, no uh, ABV, made with cat green ops. From the Dark Place Brewery, Asylum, 4.2%. Traditional English bitter with some light caramel. On the beach, that's 4.2%. On the beach, a beetroot saison, a 5.5%. A beetroot, an orange saison, fruity and dry. Different. On reserve, the grizzly at 4.4%. A pale ale, lemon, orange, lemongrass and coriander flavours. From the Devitura uh, Brewery, 
pale, fail, pale, ale, 4.2%, you can guess what that is. Sting in the ale, 4.4%, another pale ale. From Dylan's Brewery, Fair Lady, 4.5%. Uh, vegan, smash beer, triple hopped with mosaic. Napa, 4.2%. North American Pale, vegan again. Uh, Rebel Red IPA, 6.2%. Um, you can guess what that is. Amber Gambler. Amber Ale, 4.5% it is Amber Ale. From the Dick Brew Brewery, Marianne, 4% Pale Ale. Television, 5.3% IPA. From the Digfield Brewery, Barnwell Bitter, 4% uh, Amber Ale. Chiff Chaff, 3.9% Pale Ale. Shackle Bush, 4.5% Chestnut Brown. Uh, Oppy Bitterness. The Docks Beers Brewery, Graveyard Shift 4% of Dark Stout, Chocolate Malt and Coconut. Um, hard Graph 4%, that's a Pale Ale. From the Donkey Stone Brewery. Cotton Clouds 4%, uh, that's a Bitter. DPA 4.7%, American IPA. Hop Incest 3.7%, Pale Ale. Van Vanilla Stout 5%. Uh, full body vanilla stout with six malts. That sounds interesting. From the Dawa Kamau uh, Brewery, Goldsworthy, six point five percent strong IPA. Cow Varg, five point five percent a cask conditioner lager. Uh, from the Dunscar Bridge Brewery, Munro Blonde, three point eight percent blonde ale. Stout, four point four percent. Obviously, what that is. Uh, from the Enfield, Enfield Brewery, EB, 4%, Golden Ale. London IPA, 6%, obviously what that is. Speculation, 4.8%, that's an Amber Ale. From the Engineer Brewery, Bonfire Special Ruby Ale, at 4.5%. White Stout, at 5.8%, and that's a Coffee Chocolate Stout. That sounds uh, interesting. Hmm. <sighs> From the Errant Brewery, touch pieces at 4.5%, a berry stout, mix of strong black malts and lush berry flavours, that does sound interesting. Whistler Beeper at 4.9%, black malts and juicy ops intertwine in this black IPA. From the Farmyard Ales Brewery, Chaff, 4.7%, that's a pale ale. Hay Bob at 3.9%, traditional ale. Homestead at 3.4%, English bitter. From the Fierce and Noble Brewery, American Stout, 4.8%, Dark Stout. West Coast IPA, 6.5%, you don't need to know any more there. Firebird, both gluten-free um, beers. Heritage, 4%, that's a pale amber. Per Parody, at 4.2%, an amber bitter. First and last brewery, Drove Road at 3.7%, English Pale Ale. On reserve, Equinox at 3.8%, that's a pale ale. Uh, Mad Jack Hatter, 4.2%, that's a mosaic session ale. Vanilla Stout, 4.2%, obviously what that is. From the first chop brewery, Hop, 4.1%, pale ale. IPA, 5%, gluten free, you can tell what that is. Pod, 4.2%, it's a vanilla oatmeal stout. From the Fisher's Brewery, this bar's got a lot of beers on it, as you can tell. I'm already up to 100, I'm already up to 13 minutes as well. From the Fisher's Brewery, Anterham Pale, 5%, it's a British Strong Ale. On reserve, Flagship APA, an American Pale Ale, 4.5%. Smoked Porter, 4.4%. Coffee, Chocolate and Wood Smoke, define this porter, that sounds interesting. From the Five Points Brewery, Railway Porter, 4.5%. Uh, obviously it's a porter. XPA, 4%, extra pale ale. From the Fixed Wheel Brewery, Calf Culture, 4.5%, creamy milk stout. Spokes at 4.1%, that's a blonde ale. With lychee in. Flash House Brewery, on reserve, Iron Jaw, 4.2%, that's a light ale. Toasted Coconut stout, 4.2%. Coconut stout with aromas of coffee and chocolate. Now that sounds lovely. Wymere River at 3.7%. A pale hopped with Wymere and Willamette. Never heard of them. From the Fossway Brewery, Aurora, 
3.6% pale ale. Dark side, 4.8% dark porter. Jossy gold at 4.2% a lager. On reserve, Sentinel, 4.5% a chestnut hail. From the Four Candles Brewery, a green hop collaboration by four different breweries, 5% for that. And green hop wine, uh, a rye ale with green hops again. From the Franklin's Brewery, Lawless, 3.8% uh, pale ale. Resurrection, 4.4%, another pale ale. From the Free Reeling Brewery, Modern IPA, 4%. Guess what that is? Ruby 4.4% Ruby Ale. Start 4.3% Start with Licorice. From the Full Mash Brewery in Stapleford. Never heard of it. Uh, obviously Nottingham. <clears throat> Mr. Hyde 4.3% Deep Amber Ale. Hints of Blackcurrant Flavour which malt taste. On Reserve Apparition 4.5% Pale Ale. Dr. Jekyll 3.9% um, Full Bodied Ale Biscuity. Illuminati at 4.2% of Golden Ale, Seance at 4% of Blonde Ale, Warlord at 4.4% of Deep Golden Brew, and on reserve, Wheat Ear 4.2%, which is a wheat beer. From the Furnace Brewery in Derby, uh, Fun Sponge 4.4%, Gluten Free, uh, Golden Citra and Mosaic Hop Juicy Beer. From the Gates Brewery in Burton on Trent, Gates Burton Ale, Amber Ale. 4.8%. Reservoir 4.6% and Amber Ale with a finely balanced malt and hop character. And that's it for that bar. I'm not doing any more because that is a massive bar and I'm already on 16 minutes. Thanks for watching. Try and watch them all because there's loads more coming. Turn the computer off for a bit. See you soon.